All right, this is a heat transfer problem, and we are dealing with the wall of an oven. This wall is a composite wall, which means that it's made up of more than one material. And as we can see here, it's made up of three materials, A, B, and C. Now they gave us the length of each material right here. They also gave us the temperature of the air inside the oven, the temperature of the two surfaces, the interior surface, exterior surface, we can see them right here, and we also have the convection coefficient on the inside. They want us to find the thermal conductivity of material B, which is not given, but the conductivity of A and B, A and C, is given. Now this is a great problem for the application of thermal circuits. Let's make ours right here. So what are we dealing with? We have convection on this side of the wall and convection on this side of the wall. Through the wall we have conduction. We have conduction in this material, then in this one, and then in this one. Now all of these are in series, and that's how we're going to construct our thermal circuit. Right here. I'm going to start from the air temperature that's inside the oven. We're going to have a resistance going from the air temperature to the surface, the interior surface of the oven wall. This is my resistance, and this is convection. Therefore, my convection resistance is 1 over HA. The A is the area of the wall. Now, what are the next uh, resistances that we're dealing with? From here, we go on to here. That's another resistance, this one. And that is a conduction. Therefore, the conduction resistance is L over KA. Now, what kind of L are we dealing with? That's this one, LA. So let's specify it. And the con uh, conduct conduction coefficient, the K, is for material A. So let's mark this one as A as well. Now, if we continue through the wall, we're going to have another conduction, then another one for B and C. We're going to mark those the same like we did for material A. There you go. Now we got the outside wall of the oven right here. If you would like to continue, you could make the outside convection and make another resistance right here. But in this problem, we're not going to need it, so we ignore it. If you wanted to make your problem more complete, you could write up the entire circuit that you're dealing with, which would look something like this. Okay, here we go. And the, let's see. So in this problem, we are not giving absolutely no information for radiation, so we are ignoring it. But if we would want to include it, this is how it would look like. From the uh, two surfaces, the inside and the outside, we would have convection and radiation, which would happen at the same time, so they would be in parallel. Same situation on the inside, convection and radiation. We have information on the inside for the convection, so we will have to include that. But radiation is not given, therefore the only thing we're going to consider is the convection part. On the outside, we are not given anything for either any of these, and we're not going to need it for this problem. So we're not even going to include it in our diagram at all. Now let's bring all these informations together so it can help us find what we need. The heat transfer is equal to delta T over the total resistance. Now, our delta T that we're going to be working first with is between the two surfaces of the wall, inside and outside surfaces, so therefore in, uh, TS interior minus TS outside. At the bottom, the total resistance, we have three resistances in series, therefore we're simply just going to add them up. This plus this, that plus this. 
right here. Now, we are not given any kind of information on what kind of area are we dealing with. So all these A's, they are kind of just standing in the way of us. So let's, uh, instead of working with heat transfer, let's work with flux. Flux is the heat transfer rate divided by the area. And this way, when we combine this equation with this one, we can see that our areas all drop out and we don't have to even worry about them anymore. Okay, let's do a quick check on what do we have here. Let's see in our formula what do we have and what do we don't have. The interior and exterior temperatures we have. The LA, the length of A, B and C, we have, we have and we have. The K of the A material, we have it given. The K of the C material is a given. Now, the K of B, that's exactly what they want us to find. So that's a big question mark. We don't have it. The flux, well, we still don't have it. So we have two unknowns in this equation, so we still can solve it. So first, let's work on our flux. How can we find flux so when we come back to this equation, we can finally find our KB? So let's look around what else did they give us that we did not use. We did not use this H, the convection coefficient on the inside of the oven wall. So let's write up our convection formula for the flux. Flux equals H and the delta T between our air temperature and the surface of the wall. Here we have H, we have this one and we have this one, so we can find our flux. As we can see on the diagram, our area does not change from here to here to here to here. Therefore, our flux will be constant. We are working with a steady state condition, therefore our heat transfer will not change either. So both of these are constant, therefore our flux will not change. So when we find our flux going from the air to the surface of the interior, we're going to have the same flux all the way through this. So uh, this flux we can use in our formula right here to get our KB. Let's plug in all the values that we need and we can find our flux for 5000 watts per meter square. Now, if we look at our formula, this is not unknown anymore. We found it. Only unknown KB. Let's go ahead and solve for that. Bring down right here. Plug in absolutely everything that we have. KB our only unknown. Simplify it, simplify it, simplify it, and we can finally solve for it in our conduction uh, coefficient thermal conductivity of the material KB, right, the one that's in the middle, we can find it that is 1.53 watts per meter Kelvin 